My name's Gideon Antwi, and since boxing, I've taken up the name Gids the Boxer. Before boxing, I was weighing at a staggering 24 stone, and I thought, yeah, it's time to change this. So I started gymming and I got down to 18 stone, and this was at the age of 17 years old. And then from there, we just started boxing, 11 years later, national champion. I started my conquest at 91 kg, this being cruiserweight, but as amateur boxer they call it heavyweight. So I managed to compete in around three tournaments and I excelled from novice to an elite at cruiserweight before going on to super heavyweight which is 91 plus. Moving up to super heavyweight where the party really started, you know me, I love to be big and strong, I got my size on, I represented England, represented London did Southwest versus Northwest Division, you name it. I'm a three-time London champion. I won the European Harringay Box Cup Championships. I won the Novice ABA Championships. I've become the home county champion. And at the moment, I hold the national title for 91 plus KG. And I'm also an ET boxer for the GB squad. Before claiming the national title, I was ranked number five in the country. I've represented England internationally three times and one of my most remarkable wins was against a Danish national champion on his home turf. From the very start of his boxing career, I was trained by my father Benji and I haven't looked back since. To me, amateur boxing has played a big toll in my life because it's really disciplined me as a man. It's made me the man I am today. It's kept me out of trouble. Just keep my mind right, keep me in the gym, keep me busy, keep me focused. Boxing has really put my mind in a different perspective, at a whole nother level. It's kept me so calm. I used to get angry all the time over little things. I was high tempered. I've, I've released the anger into something and i put all my energies into this one thing. And as you can see, I'm starting to, you know, feel like a butterfly sting like a bee. I'm always going to do what's within my power to be on top. And that's on top of my game, on top of the opposition. So if the gym is going to shut today, you know I'm going to continue with the grind somehow. Where there's a world, there's a way they say. And they also do say that the world is your oyster. One box I did used to watch when I was younger all the time was Roy Jones Jr. So somehow, like, he just, style just came onto mine and we just kind of, you know, intertwined. But um, I did watch a lot of Colonel Whitaker. I like his style too. Watched a lot of um, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson. Basically all the Fantastic Four. That's including Robert Duran and Marvin Hagler, Hitman Hearns. But you know, so many boxers out there that I can name. And with that being said, I guess that's where my style comes from. It's all of them intertwined together. Even the old school Jersey Joe Walker. I just watched all of them and then, you know, the magic happens. So, one of my purposes in boxing is to show people that the throwback heavyweight style is not dead. You can see that being big and shorter than most opponents, you can still move as quick. You can move like a middleweight, move like a flyweight, and still do damage. In five to ten years' time, I definitely see myself up there with a few championship belts, ready to take on the world. <laughs>